The next crash is housing. Goldman Sachs came out this morning and said there are four cities where there's going to be a massive housing crash, Austin, Texas being one of them. I know a lot about the Austin, Texas market. Houses went from 300,000 to 1 million in a period of a couple years. Silicon Valley companies, Web2, brought people in in droves from California and Oregon. A lot of people also escaped New York by coming to Austin. Silicon Valley companies built giant skyscrapers. Meta built one with 65 floors that they walked away from. As in, they're not putting their people in it, and they leased it out for a fraction of what it cost them to make the building. Housing prices have already dropped in Austin 30%. People who FOMO'd in at the top, no buyers. And then the stuff that is for sale, and believe me, everything is for sale now, nobody can afford to buy it. How can you buy a hyperinflated house for 700000 with an 8% mortgage rate? You can't do it. And the Fed's going to try to jam interest rates higher, or so they think. But as they try to jam rates higher and people walk away from houses, in other words, why would you pay mortgage on a $700,000 house that's now worth 300000 when you can hand the keys back to the bank and go rent an apartment. Why pay on a house that you'll never be able to sell for what you paid for it? So the housing crash is coming. Austin is a big suspect. Austin is a prime target. But the Fed's got to ask themselves, yes, a correction in housing prices is good, but how far can they push it before the crash in housing spills over into other legacy assets. I still believe no matter what the Fed does, crypto is the place to be. The legacy follies have reached their limit. Crypto is the only solution to maintain your purchasing power and your investment returns.